Okay, good morning, everyone. Can everyone hear me? Okay. <laughs> so, good morning. Uh, thank you very much for being here for this uh, very special event, uh, Regorg Ontario Adventures in uh, Storage Reorganization. Uh, my name is Simon Lambert. Uh, I'm a Preservation Development Advisor at the Canadian Conservation Institute. And it's with treme tremendous pleasure that I welcome you uh, to the Reorg Ontario Conference. Uh, hopefully, it will be the first of a series of similar events across all regions of Canada. Uh, this conference is one of the key events of the Reorg uh, Canada program, and we'll be hearing more about this program today and from some of the participants who are actually uh, reorganizing their storage as part of this one-year pilot project in Ontario. Um, the first edition of Reorg Canada, as I mentioned, is taking place in Ontario this year. Uh, reorganizing using storage is truly an adventure. Uh, as you will hear from our six participating museums today, as well as from the Brandt Museum and Archives, uh, the host and co-organizer co of our three-day practical, hands-on, get dirty uh, workshop that just finished yesterday. Um, and of course, from our guest speakers as well. For most museums, storage reorganization is riddled with surprises. From that box of objects that has just resurfaced after years of disappearance, to those exhibit panels that you have absolutely no recollection of. As one participant said two days ago, you don't really know what you're gonna get yourself into until you do it. All that being said, it is also a very rewarding and empowering experience for museums who gain the confidence that it is possible to make meaningful changes when you put your mind to it. But also for the community who can benefit from enhanced access to their collections and a renewed engagement uh, with their local heritage institutions. Uh, I would like to thank all of you for sending your favorite storage solutions. Uh, these will be showcased during the lunch and coffee breaks uh, on the screen behind me. So do take a moment to check out every other participants or every other uh, delegates' uh, solutions because they'll be running on the screen. And who knows, you just might be inspired. Uh, with our partners, uh, the goal uh, is to launch a similar call for storage solutions on a global scale uh, to see uh, what ideas our colleagues are developing worldwide and make them freely accessible online to everyone. So stay tuned. Uh, many partners and collaborators have made today possible. CCI would like to thank the Ontario Museum Association uh, our partner for this first edition of Reorg Ontario, uh, the Museum Assistance Program, who provided uh, support for the, to the Grant, to, sorry, to the Brandt Museum and Archives, uh, making our workshop possible. And also, of course, ECROM, who is the co-creator of the Reorg methodology and uh, with UNESCO, and uh, CCI's partner for the development of the training tools and resources that we're using in the uh, Reorg Canada program. Uh, and of course, Brandt Museum and Archives, the co-organizer of this event, and host for our three-day workshop. Uh, your generosity uh, and positivity is unsurpassed, so it's been great worth working with you. At this point, I'd like to invite uh, Lana Job, who is the executive director and curator of the Brandt Museum and Archives, uh, to say a few words and perhaps explain you know, where we find ourselves gathered here today. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm very glad to be here with all of you. Uh, having Reorg come to us was just in the nick of time. We were in a, a uh, middle of an inventory project, and we had already written a few grants to get some supplies to do this job, but having Simon ask us to do the reorg uh, was just like the cavalry came. <laughs> we needed help and we needed it badly. And I can't say enough that it, it, was, it was just heaven sent for us. Our museum now looks like it, it's a brand new museum. Everything is accessible, it is, looks good. 
it's easier to have our patrons come in and we can serve them. And we have had several grants that we had already written, the Stedman Foundation, the Brant Community Foundation, um, and the Museum's Assistance Program, and the City of Brantford. All these grants went into this to, to um, buy the shelving, and there will be a few more uh, pieces of equipment that come in after this, make it easier for our researchers. And uh, the process of the reorg was very smooth, I must admit. Simon's charts kept us on schedule, <laughs> and everybody worked together, and I'd just like to thank everybody. It was such a good experience for the day, two and a half days that we did it in, and I just can't thank them enough for doing this. That's fine.